What are you doing? Is this just the hangout? Is it just so cool down here in the sand that you get sand all over the house and then mom gets mad at me? I swear that dog, that dog has the life right now. We had some spice last night. Had like a warning come over, start screaming at like 2 a.m. Severe thunderstorm warning right for the area. And wind picked up a little bit. There were some pretty loud claps of thunder. Nothing too, nothing too spicy. Got some rain though, which is nice, much needed. Everyone's grass has been getting kind of crispy looking, but actually looks pretty good right now. All right, so y'all know what, the, what day it is. And well, you probably don't know what day it is, um, but it's Sunday, it's Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Um, gonna go pick Babs up from work. And if you know any, if you watched last week's videos, then uh, you'll know what we're about to do. We're going camping again. We're going camping to a new campground. We're going back up into the Smokies, but a, a different campground just down from Kate's Cove Campground. And then uh, we'll kind of explore around, see what they have. I, we still can't take you. I'm sorry. Like the campground will let you go, but you can't go on the trails. Should Macy have her own camping? Should we do our own camping vlog with Macy once? We'll see what they say, and then, and then we'll see if you go, okay? We got plenty of time, fall is coming. It's gonna be beautiful in the Smokies, so we'll be good, but you gonna watch everything? You'll be good, okay? Jeez. All right, let's go get Babs. All right, we got Babs. That's better. There's Babs. Hi, guys. How was work? Work was good. Yeah, busy? No, I mean, it was busy, but not like crazy busy. Rainy days feel like donuts. Yeah. You, have, you have better donut days on rainy days, you think? Yes, rainy days, people come out. All right, we're ready to go. Ready yeah. to go camping again? We're going camping. Ready to go camping. Hopefully it does not rain. It's wet. It's really wet out. It doesn't look like there's going to be any more storms, but you never know. It is Tennessee. It'll change its mind. We kind of have bipolar weather. Yeah, so we're going to go up to Elkmont Campground this time. So same thing, going up to Townsend. Instead of going right to Cades Cove, we're going to go left to Elkmont and uh, check this place out. We're right... We'll show you. We're, this is gonna be a good one. You like this campsite, huh? I do. But I'm we'll not we'll show you why. We'll show you why. Hey, they got a little church thing too. It's kind of cool. We'll go check in. I'll be right back. Hmm. Probably should have read that first and came and got it. What do you say? Ooh, there's Ho. What's up? This, uh oh, what does this guy want? Are we in trouble? Let's see what this guy wants. Hi. Do you need jumper cables? Yes, I do. We gotta do some good Samaritan stuff. <laughs> that guy was like waving at us like, I was like, uh oh, are we in trouble already? We just pulled in. How are we already in trouble? All right, this is what, third jump this week? Mm -hmm. Saving people? I love it, I love helping people. It's never fun to have a dead battery. We've all been there and done that, right? Like, I can't tell you how many dead batteries we've had and you remember when the truck stalled on 321? Oh yeah. And the, how many people just stopped to like help? It's one of the, the big things I love about Tennessee is just that people stop and help. All right, let's find the camera. That's it, E7 right there. It's the spot. Okay, y'all know the drill. We gotta put put our little sign on. Now, let me let me show you why we're excited for this one. This one's a little bit different than the last place we stayed. Y'all ready for this? Look at this. What do you think of this one? I really like this. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Like this is amazing. 27 bucks a night. That's what you get. Right here.
All right, first impressions. I, do I even need to ask you? <laughs> no, I. I think you I like this like one. It. I just like the stream right there. I definitely could take a nap in the hammock. Yeah. I'm not right. tired, but the sound of it would probably just Put play you loose. Probably. So as I told you all last time, I downloaded all trails, which allows you to see off, when you don't have data and stuff, allows for offline viewing. Well, I did not do that for this trip, unfortunately. That's okay, because we've got maps. These National Geographic ones are awesome because they're waterproof, very durable. So we are gonna go, we're gonna go up Jake's Creek Trail. There's a little cabin up there, an abandoned cabin. More on Elkmont and what Elkmont really is. Then we're gonna go across Cucumber Gap Trail to Husky Branch Falls, and then back down the Little River Trail, back to the campsite. So we will take you all along. I'll switch to the GoPro again, take you all on an adventure, tell you a little bit about the area. So Sawyer, I've talked about it before. We love this spray, it works great. This one's for equipment and clothing. Lasts up to six weeks, and I think six washes. But it protects against. But it protects against everything, so okay. it's great. Um, you don't want to spray this on your skin. We, we did that a few mm. times until we realized you're not supposed to do that. I'm okay. They don't do worry. have a Sawyer to spray on your skin, though. We're still alive. We're good. Don't worry about it. All right, we'll switch to the GoPro. All right, a little better. Now we can throw you around and get you wet and everything. All right, so we're gonna go see if we can find a way to get across this river really quick. You like this site? Oh wow, look at that. F3, if any of y'all try to book here, F3 is a pretty awesome spot. Right to the river. All of these are pretty cool, like all the shade that's in here. Okay, so this one is, we're basically gonna do two and a half in, maybe a little bit more than two and a half in, and then two and a half out. We're gonna go up, up towards that cabin. Like I said, we're gonna go across the one gap, and then back down the river trail, which will end up back here at that parking lot right there. But Elkmont is a very interesting place. It used to be like an outdoor resort. So up here, there's like, a lodge, a bunch of cabins, all kinds of cool stuff. But all this stuff is just abandoned and run down up here. This is all it, like it's, there's a ton of stuff. We should come up here tonight and walk around. Creepy! Wild, huh? It's like a whole resort town just abandoned. We'll come up here tomorrow. We'll come do this tomorrow and then we'll go get the hike done today. All right, so a lot of this is still paved. It's a nice road like this coming out of Elkmont, that little resort area. This used to be an old logging area. They used to have rail cars going up and down. It was all part of that, but that is all since gone, but it has remained paved and a nice walk. This is 0.7 to that cucumber gap we're gonna shoot across. We're actually gonna go a little further past it though. Oh yeah, look at all the ruins and stuff and get to this cabin. They say it's a hidden cabin, but I don't think it's, so much hidden anymore, but supposedly they do a lot of artwork in there. Like people come up here and do art. So I don't know. Hopefully we'll find some cool stuff to show y'all. I needed to watch the news. Yeah. This is fascinating. And this is why I love the video stuff too. Like when we go and we look around all this stuff, like how cool would it be to find a video on YouTube of some, someone back in the day, just vlogging their day on the, the logging trail and you could actually see what that building looked like or, or you could actually see what this rubble was like i mean there were a lot of little buildings it looks like right okay so we counted how many 10 chimneys 10, 11 12 I there's a few more right for this whole area so you get up to this this little cabin david. so this house was once leased by colonel david chapman a knoxville businessman and member of the appalachian club he became the driving force in the effort to create the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. So he had an opponent that was also a member of that club also, but he was a conservationist and an attorney for the Little River Lumber Company. So he was fighting for this to be a national forest because then they could continue the logging operations. The Colonel was advocating for this to be a national park so it couldn't be touched anymore. Protection of the park came in 1934. So uh, Colonel, Chapman, Colonel Chapman was given a lease to this cabin by the Tennessee Park Commission. Kind of cool. Good for him. Oh, what are we at? 1.2. So that's the thing. There's so much stuff hidden up here. Um, 
not hidden, but just not marked. Like it's not on the forestry stuff. It's not like known. It's not on signs. But there's a lot of fun stuff. But you got to find it. Like so. So I don't disclose a lot of it because it's this part of the fun. I don't geotag stuff ever. But this looks kind of promising. So we'll see if we can find this oh. hidden cabin. You good? Yeah. We'll see. Dude, this is crazy. Hmm. See, it's so weird. Stuff, stuff won't be noted or on the map or official, but yet someone like someone builds a full bridge for you to get a car to find it I, I feel like it's this way we gotta I think I see it up there look at all the Starbucks people yeah. it's always fun when you actually find it whatever you're looking for Where's your phone? I know you ain't going up the ladder first. Huh, there's a couple beds, that's all. Yeah. Imagine just having like some chairs. Chilling here. Listen to that. So cool. Must be a Please sign guest book. Well, that's kind of cool. They do ask that all those rocks be placed back in front of all the doors, and that's just to keep them shut. Um, that's kind of cool. Sign this little guest book thing. That's cool. Look at all these. Look how long they go back? 2018. What's the date? It's the first, first. right? 8, 1, 20, 21. A cute little cabin. Awesome little place. So yeah, so it's an official historical place. We'll uh, take care of somebody's Starbies. Can carry it. All right, well, that was kind of cool to find, yeah? Yeah. Find a little history. Then we're going to go back down to what was it, Cucumber Gap? Yeah. We'll go back to C Cucumber Gap, shoot across. We're going to try to find these other waterfalls now. All right, here we are. Back at this trail, Cucumber Gap Trail. That's what we're going to do. Little River is 2.3 that way. Just kind of in awe right now of these trees. These trees are huge, these maple trees. Like this whole little like, just grove of maples that are ginormous trees. Like, you and I couldn't even hug this thing together. <laughs> You're probably halfway, yeah. And that thing just goes, whoo. How high do you think you could get? Not so high. These vines go all the way to the top of the trees. And they are so strong, like literally. Like I've never understood like vines growing like that. You always saw it like Tarzan was swinging. Now I see how he does. I mean, his look a little bit more like bouncy and fun, but do you climb to the top? You got the strength, crossfit that thing just. Oh, Babs man. doesn't think you can. I don't want to be. Do I look like Tarzan? Yeah, swinging with the backpack. Where's your sexy outfit? You want me to put a sweet on? Go for it. You have your backpack? Maybe. Yeah, look at this little area. 
pretty cool. Yeah. We are at 4.28. That was right on target. Little River Trail, so 2.4 back to the parking lot. Husky Gap Trail 0.4, Prong Trail 1.4. Bears. So those waterfalls are somewhere here. Look at that pool to swim in. That looks beautiful. Okay. Two and a half miles up. You just follow the Little River Trail coming from Elkmont, that area. Um, like I said, we came across Cucumber, so a little bit farther just to make it worth our while. Just to check out some new spots, but definitely a cool spot to come up here. There's a lot of fun little pools to swim in up here. And, like almost every other trail we've been on, nobody. You get away from the crowds. Like, that's the coolest part about all these trails. If you put a little effort into these walks, just to get up, and you don't even have to go that far. We passed two people. Two people. Two guys. That was it on Cucumber. That was it. Um, really wild. But it's peaceful. You're by yourself. Just doesn't get any better. The whole area is like so pretty up here. It's all like, I don't know, it's all like rainforesty and the Husky Falls, huh? It's pretty cool. Careful going down that. We were just saying, we haven't seen any wildlife on any of these hikes. My heart just started racing when she pointed that out. So he's going back to the water. Looked like a decent sized bear. I don't think it was a baby, right? Yeah, get it out just in case. It's too, it's too thin, the trail to the water right there. Like, he would be close if we walked by. I'm trying to watch to see if he crosses the river or something. Right there. Okay. Okay. Walk quickly. You little guy. It's a whole crowd of people down here. I think they were kind of down here watching the bear. <laughs> and now they see us coming down. Whew, good eye, Babs. I'm gonna walk right by that guy. You never know, like I, you can't tell the size of them. You can't tell, you can't tell if it's a cub really. Or if they have babies. With them. Or if babies are around, like, and like I said, with that gap between the river and the trail, like I didn't really want to just go and walk. Like kind of want to see what it would do first and then just keep going, but they're so, they do come off a little more tame, which they are still a wild animal. It is still bear, like. I'm not going I'm, up to it and giving it a no. hug. But it's still, I think it's because it is the national park. They do see people that kind of know what we are. He just cruise, like he's like, whatever, like, what's up? And we were just saying, like, how many hikes have we been on? How many trails? No bear, no deer, no nothing. He got his wish. He finally got it. Today. Kind of excited about that. So that was maybe, what, a mile in? Half a mile from the parking lot? About a mile, I'd say. Mile in. Elkmont is a fantastic spot. If you want to come and just get by a river and go hike, you can park at Elkmont up here, like day use. This trail is like this the entire way. So the whole 2.5 that Babs and I just walked from the falls up there, you walk all the way up there. Heck, I mean, you could even push like a jogging stroller if you wanted to. Like, this is fine. Like, this is a great trail. It's this the entire way. So that's a fun one. If you guys are ever looking for a nice, moderate trail and you, you, you might see it there. All right, made it back. Where are we at? 7.1? 7.05. How long? Two hours and 48 minutes. So our total was 7.1. So we went Jake's Trail to the cabin, back down to Cucumber, cross Cucumber, 
to Little River Trail and down Little River Trail. 7.1 total round trip. Two and a half hours, is it? Two hours and 38 minutes. About two and a half hours. So that was a good little hike. It's good because it's not, that wasn't too strenuous. No. A little bit of uphill at the start going up Jake's when you get to Cucumber. A little uphill right there. And then across Cucumber, it's probably half and half. A little bit of an incline, but nothing too crazy. A lot of tree roots to step over, which is kind of weird. And then downhill and good to go. It's a fun little hike though, if anyone's interested. All right, I'm not gonna lie, that was that was a good hike. That was intense. I mean, seven miler, even though it's kind of moderate. What was the most intense part of the hike? The bear, for sure. We saw a bear, like how cool is that? We saw a bear, I'm so excited. All right, we're gonna go take a dip in this gorgeous little river now. That sucks. Check those things out. Crazy little mushrooms. Is it that bad? No. It's not that bad. But Come on now. Uh, it's cold, that's for sure, but it feels amazing. I can walk down there when you start. You want to do that? You're going to see the one pot meal every time. When Babs and I go camping, it's the easiest thing. I think. I don't, we like pasta, it's easy, it's quick. You don't have to do much easy cleanup. What we got this time, Babs? We have chicken Alfredo. And chicken Alfredo. And Walk down there, they got some vending machines. Babs wanted a soda. And I took everything we had, and it's a good thing I did, because it was $2.50 for a Dr. Pepper. So we got one. One to share. We have a good camp. We have like a barbecue that we used to have in the trailer. We have a lot of stuff, but it's just like the simpler. It is the easier. I mean, this just is just one pot, like one pan on. to wash. Like you could do burgers and steaks and make it all. I don't know. It's fine for me. One thing I love right now, though, is seeing all of these new van, like van conversions and campers and stuff. People are getting very creative. I loved our travel trailer, but it was such a process and it was so stressful. For me to tow it to get it into the spot to set it up it was just constant work 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 and then i feel like you don't really enjoy it as much if you're out hiking and all that and yeah it's just much simpler but some of these vans there's an older van here a more newer van here there's a sprinter there's a school bus that's modified down here a green one i'm gonna take babs back to you to show her it has like a little like sunlight thing where the shower is and everything it's the coolest thing it's very cool seeing people get creative though. So it is, you think it's gonna be colder, huh? I definitely You can kind of feel a little chill in the air. It's definitely cooler than it was last weekend, but it just feels like it's gonna be colder this time around. So I did bring sweatshirts and stuff for later, but I wanna get the fire going early. Look at those, those are cracked. They're split perfect. Cause I didn't do them. Wifey did it. Watch this perfect molo. Now you can actually see. I can't really see in the last one. It's 
gonna make a mess, so. So where's everybody at on the s'mores? Barely toasted, lightly toasted, golden brown, extra crispy. I like it rotated enough. You get golden brown, and then add a little little crisp for the end. You know what's good is to get them brown, then pull the top layer off, eat it, and get it brown. Somebody, what did somebody say? There was six, six layers is the record on a s'more or something for peeling off layers. But we we were watching something. We were talking about that. And do you like the big hollow marshmallows or the round ones? Round ones. I Ever think since these, Babs discovered these things, they you fit can. better on a marshmallow. You get an even spread of marshmallow to your smoke. Not to mention when you have the little circles, like this side will start cooking faster and dripping than the other side, and then you got to kind of balance it. Like at least this is all one little pillow. The, pe the pillows are legit. Lightly brown, a little crisp, perfect. Between San Diego and Orange Look at that, that's like... That's a perfect... Like, you can't get... It's, honestly. My goodness. Did you have fun today? I did. Good hike? Good hike. Saw your and bear. it was fun seeing a bear. Saw an owl. Saw an owl. Saw all kinds of wildlife today. More than we've seen before. I think we're gonna ah. let this fire go out and that'll be it. So that is it. From Elkmont, East Tennessee. Oh, we're good. We're good.